So ngayon, um, gagaw- gagamitin natin differentiation uh, using uh, trig function. Tapos, mamaya, meron din tayong uh, finding the equation of the tangent line using implicit differentiation. At yung pangatlo is uh, finding the second derivative using implicit differentiation. So, let's start with ano, uh, implicit differentiation with trig function. So, yung rules niya is parehas lang ng uh, regular na implicit differentiation. Pero ngayon, meron na siyang trig function. So, yung problem natin is, kukunin natin yung derivative ng cosine 2x plus y equals 25. So, dito, gagamit tayo ng implicit differentiation kasi meron siyang y dun sa function nyo. So, to simplify it, yung step-by-step -step process niya, kailangan natin take yung derivative ng first term and then yung derivative ng second term. So, yung uh, cosine 2x plus y, yung derivative niya, uses negative sine u du dx as its derivative. So, kung isa-summarize natin yung, ano, yung derivative ng first function, u is 2x plus y. At yung uh, du niya, or yung derivative ng u niya, is 2 plus dy over dx. Kasi yung derivative ng 2x is 2, derivative ng y is just 1 dy dx. Tapos, syempre, yung derivative ng 25, nagagamitan lang natin ng constant rule. So, to simplify it, derivative ng cosine 2x plus y using implicit differentiation will become negative sine 2x plus y times 2 plus dy dx equal to 0. Kasi yung derivative ng constant is 0 lang. Since ang hinahanap natin ay dy dx, so magsusolve na naman tayo. Kailangan yung dy dx is by itself. So, uh, karamihan sa mga estudyante, hindi nila alam kung paano mahihiwalay si dy over dx kasi meron kang factor dito tapos meron ka pa rin factor dito. So, in implicit differentiation, uh, using algebra um, concept, pwede natin i-distribute itong term na to dito sa 2 at saka sa dy dx. So, yun yung gagawin natin. Distribute nyo yung negative sign 2x plus y to 2 and distribute nyo yung negative sign 2x plus y sa dy dx. Kaya yung next term natin, or yung next equation natin will become negative 2 sine 2x plus y minus, kasi negative siya, sine 2x plus y. At huwag mong kakalimutan yung dy over dx equal to 0. So ngayon na separated na yung dy dx sa 2 at saka sa sine x plus y, pwede na natin i-isolate or um, isolve yung equation ng dy over dx. So, add tayo ng sine 2x plus y on both, uh, on both sides kasi gusto ko yung dy dx ko positive. So, pwede rin naman ito, pero yung sa step ko, ginawa ko, ito yung tinanggal ko. So, meron ako ngayon, negative 2 sine 2x plus y equal to, positive na siya ngayon, sine 2x plus y dy dx. Kasi ina-isolate na ito sa dy over dx. So, from sa puntong to, Pwede na natin kunin si dy dx kasi all we have to do is to divide both sides by sine 2x plus y para yung dy dx is by itself. So magkakaroon tayo dito sa kabilang equation ng negative 2 sine 2x plus y all over sine 2x plus y. So alam naman natin na pareha sila, pwede natin silang i-cancel and then you will be left with negative 2. Kaya yung derivative ng y natin in terms of x is simply negative 2. So, ito yung implicit differentiation using trig function na gumagamit ng rule for derivatives ng trig. Ngayon, sa pangalawa naman, um, ang hinahanap naman natin ngayon is yung uh, equation ng tangent line. Dun sa function na x squared plus xy plus y squared equals 3 sa point na 1, 1. So, we will use implicit differentiation to find the tangent line dito sa function na to. So, obviously, implicit differentiation siya kasi meron tayong y. Yung dalawang terms natin may y. So, ang una natin gagawin eh, to perform implicit differentiation para makuha natin si f prime of x. At alam naman natin yung f prime of x o yung derivative ng function, eh, yun yung slope ng tangent line. So, hindi ko na pinakita kung paano natin kinuha yung derivative nitong function na to kasi um, assuming na alam nyo na kung paano kumuha ng implicit differentiation, yung derivative ng function natin, or your first derivative ng function natin, is negative 2x minus y all over x plus 2y. So, ito yung slope natin after natin makuha yung derivative nitong function na to. Now, ang hinahanap daw natin ay yung equation ng tangent line. So, ito, itong equation na to, slope pa lang yan. Hindi pa to yung equation ng tangent line. So, ang gagawin natin, is substitute natin yung value ng 
point natin, which is 1, 1. So, obviously, 1 is your x, the other one is your, is your y. So, kung kukunin natin ay yung slope at point 1, 1, is a substitute lang natin yung mga values na 1 and 1 dito sa derivative uh, function natin. So, meron tayong negative 2 times 1, minus 1, all over 1, plus 2 times 1. Itong 1 na to, ito yung x. Tapos, itong red na y, ito yung y. And to simplify it, yung f prime of 0 0.11 will simply be negative 1. So, ito yung slope natin using implicit differentiation ng function na ito. So, ang pag sulat ng equation ng tangent line using the point slope form, which is y minus uh, y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Eh, ito yung equation na to. So, yung equation ng tangent line natin is y minus 1 equals negative 1 times x minus 1 using the point slope form. So, kung gusto nyo pa siyang i-further simplify, pwede nyo naman siyang gawing point slope form. So, distribute nyo to, add 1 on both sides, so y is equal to mx plus b. So, ganito yung pag-sulat uh, ng equation ng tangent line kung gagamitan natin na implicit differentiation yung function. Kasi, meron tayong x, meron tayong y. Ngayon naman, pagkuha ng second derivative. So, kunin natin yung derivative ng bawat isa. So, derivative ng x to the 4th, derivative ng y to the 4th, and derivative ng 16. So, derivative ng x to the 4th is simply 4x cubed, at derivative naman ng y to the 4th is 4y cubed dy dx. Huwag niyo kalimutan yung dy dx kasi kinukuha natin yung derivative ng y in terms of x. Equal to 0 kasi ah. Uh, um, derivative ng constant is always 0. So, to isolate dy dx, kailangan mag-isa lang yung dy dx sa equation natin. So, kailangan natin tanggalin yung 4x cubed and 4y cubed. So, first step is subtract yung 4x cubed on both sides. So, meron tayong 4y cubed dy dx equals negative 4x cubed. To have dy dx by itself, divide nyo both sides naman ng 4y cubed, kaya yung dy dx natin is equal to negative 4x cubed all over 4y cubed. Now, kung kinukuha lang natin yung first derivative ng isang function, itong sagot natin na to, acceptable na to. Ito na yung first derivative ng function. Pero, ang kinukuha natin is yung second derivative, so, kung hanggat maaari, kailangan yung ikat, i-simplify yung function niya kasi kung mas ma konti yung terms na gagamitin natin mas madali yung pagkuha ng second derivative kaya ang ginawa ko yung dy dx natin dito tinanggal ko yung 4 kasi we can get rid of 4 um, to simplify our function so yung dy dx mo is equal to negative x cubed over y cubed so again as much as possible is simplify nyo yung uh, function nyo pagka kumukha kayo ng second derivative ng implicit differentiation so, ito pa lang yung first derivative. Kunin natin yung second derivative. So, kukunin naman natin ngayon is yung second derivative ng function na negative x cubed all over y cubed. So, we can use the quotient rule or low d high minus high d, high d low over low low para kunin natin yung derivative ng function. So, using this mnemonic device, so low derivative of high minus high derivative of low over low squared. Pag na-set up nyo na yung function nyo, pwede na natin i-simplify yung mga um, kailangan natin i-differentiate. So, copy. Derivative ng x cubed in terms of x is simply 3x squared. Copy. Derivative ng y cubed in terms of x is 3y squared dy dx all over y to the 6. Now, ito yung medyo unconventional dun sa ginagawa natin previously pagka hindi tayo gumagawa implicit differentiation. Before, yung second derivative, pwede na to. Kaso, kailangan natin i-isolate si dy dx dito. So, ang gagawin natin, meron tayong added step. Alam natin na yung dy dx is equal to negative x cubed all over y cubed. Ito yung first derivative natin. So, ang pwede natin gawin using uh, um, substitution is i-substitute yung value ng dy dx using negative x cubed all over y to the thir third power. So, alam naman natin na ito yung first derivative. So, i-replace natin to no ating first derivative. So, pwede natin gawin yan sa implicit differentiation. Ito yung medyo kakaiba dun sa dati nating uh, rules sa derivative. Now, pag ganito na yung function nyo, 
ang kailangan yung susunod na gawin, e simplify yung uh, function natin. Kasi, complex fraction pa yan. So, kailangan natin siyang paliitin as much as we can. So, kailangan nyo yung algebra skill nyo para ma-simplify ito. So, paano natin isi-simplify ito? So, itong term na to, pwede natin i-cancel yung y cubed and y cubed. So, pag kinancel natin yung y cubed dito, I mean, y squared dito, y cubed dito, using the GCF y squared, may matitira kang y dito. So, sulat natin. So, pag kinancel mo to, ito, magkakaroon ka ng y. Kaya, yung next line ko, eh, from negative x cubed all over y cubed, naging x cubed na lang all over y. And then, to simplify it further, so copy ko to, kahit wala naman akong ginawa dito sa term na to, and then yung second term natin, mababago, kasi sinimplify natin. So magiging plus na siya, kasi negative and negative is positive, 3x cubed, times x cubed all over y. All over y to the 6. So, na-simplify pa lang natin ay yung part na ito. As you will notice, meron pa rin uh, complex fraction. So, paano natin tatanggalin itong y na to para magkaroon lang siya ng um, isang term dito sa numerator or simplest uh, form sa numerator. So, simplify natin yung numerator. So, ito yung kanina. Ulit, ulitin natin, hinahanap natin yung second derivative ng function na x to the fourth plus y to the fourth equals 16. So, ito yung original na problem natin. At gagamitin natin ito mamaya sa pagtatapos ng solution natin. So, going back, meron pa tayong y dito. Kailangan natin siyang tanggalin. At para matanggal natin tong y na to, kailangan natin i-multiply yung numerator and denominator ng y para matanggal yung fraction form nito. So, paano natin matatanggal yan? I-distribute mo to dito. I-distribute mo yung y dun sa first term. At i-distribute mo yung y dito sa denominator. So, again, tatlong beses mo i-distribute yung y. Dito sa first term, sa second term, at sa denominator. Kaya yung next line ko naging 3x squared y to the fourth kasi y times y cubed is y to the fourth. At yung second term ko naging 3x to the sixth kasi y, cancel mo siya, kaya naging, wala na tayong denominator dito. At yung baba, kung yung kalilimutan, y to the 6 is y to the 7. And then, pwede pa natin isimplify yung numerator. So again, kailangan natin isimplify lagi yung um, bawat step natin. So yung numerator, pwede natin isimplify yan using the greatest common factor. So pull out natin ang 3x squared kasi yun yung common dito sa dalawang term. 3x squared and 3x to the 6 with the greatest common factors 3 to 3x squared pag nilabas natin to ang matitira na lang sa loob x to the 4th plus y to the 4th all over y to the 7 malapit na tayo matapos kaya ako ginawa to kasi kung nung tinanggal ko si 3x squared at pinactor out ko siya yung x to the 4th plus y to the 4th from the original problem is equal to 16 so, pwede pa rin natin siyang i-substitute at i-plug in dito sa expression na to. So, yung x to the 4th plus y to the 4th will now become 16. At dito na tayo magpa-final. Dito na yung final answer natin kasi wala na tayo masasimplify dyan. Hindi natin pwede cancel si y to the 7th and 3x squared. So, ang pwede lang natin gawin is to multiply 3 and 16. Therefore, yung second derivative nitong original function na to is simply 48x squared all over y to the 7th.